What's up boys and girls? We're here with James Nash or as now as Darth Nash. And today was a pretty nice day. Uh, he got third place with X Saber Tri Brigade. This deck is spicy. I was playing against him the other day. This deck beat my butt like so bad. Um, I really like this deck, but let's see, what were your matchups today? Uh, so round one, I faced against a, a Sacred Beast Dragoon Turbo deck. Basically, the point of it was to just get out uh, the, 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 the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon uh, as fast as possible and sit on a Razael with their like Honest card in hand that boosts him up to like 8,000 attack. Um, so I beat that 2-0. And then uh, round two, I faced against a Sky Striker deck, beat that 2-0, and then the last round, I faced an Altergeist deck, and uh, that's what knocked me out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Okay, so, where did you get this idea from? Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> right when uh, like COVID-19 started, I was like, I want to start picking up really old hidden arsenal decks, you know, like X-Sabers, uh, Dragoonities, Mist Valley, Gishki, all that old stuff. And I was like, X Sabers is the first one that appears in the dual terminal story uh, chronologically. So I was like, that's where I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with X Sabers. I messed around with them a bit, and then Tri Brigades got announced. And I was like, Tri Brigade is going to make X Sabers very, very consistent. So I'll mix them together and then see what it does. And I have been doing very, very well with this deck. Uh, I really, really enjoy playing it. It's probably. It's probably my second most favorite deck that I've ever played. That's awesome. So guys, just to let you know as well, uh, James has a YouTube channel, Dark Nash 6. I'm gonna live in the link thing behind here on the top right here on the, the thing and you guys can watch the whole progression they have with this deck it is awesome i'm gonna okay. be doing a giveaway soon to get up to 500 subscribers so keep your eye open for that Ooh, that's gonna be spicy okay let's go into the deck all right so to start it off with i run a uh, triple tri brigade fractal and then two karis two kit to Nerval, and uh, for the spells, I run two Revolt and one Rendezvous. Uh, so Fractal, it's a one-card engine to get everything set up for the deck. Uh, if you have Fractal and a name in hand, then you're going to be able to... Uh, your following turn, you're going to be able to do the classic Gotham's Hand Grip. Uh, okay. So Fractal, you just send... You know, everybody knows what they do. This is... Uh, return from a different dimension with soul charge in one card, so it's broken. That is true. Yeah, and then Tri Brigade Rendezvous is a card that not that many people run. What it is is it's an attack booster, um, so you can activate it during damage step, and also if it's in the grave, you can banish it, and all of your uh, linked monsters are protected from destruction. So I keep that in uh, just as a little extra protection. People forget about it. You can send it off of kit, so it's really, really nice. And that is battle and effect, right? Yeah, that so it's really protected good. by card effect and uh, by battle damage. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So that is the... Uh, tri Brigade. The whole Tri Brigade engine right there. Okay. And next for the X-Sabers, I run uh, triple... X Saber Air Bellum. It's specifically got to be in dual terminal rarity for this deck to work. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Okay, okay. Spicy. Yeah. Double, uh, two double X Saber Dark Soul. Ultimate rare. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, first ed ultimate rares. Ooh. So if anybody has those, you know, message me because. <laughs> Let it in comments. Let us know. Yeah, yeah. Um, one double X Saber Ragi Gura. He's important for the, uh, the X Saber hand loop. One double X Saber Bar uh, Bogart Knight because him and anything else in hand, you're going to be able to start off your whole combo. And then only two double X Saber Fall Troll. He is searchable now with, uh, he's very easily searchable now with the way that the, uh, the whole X Saber combo works with Tri Brigade, so it's really, really nice. Okay. So uh, he's the tuner. He helps you go into Naturia Beast, Naturia Barkion. Also, when he gets a direct attack, you can rip a card from the hand. Dark Soul is the end phase searcher, and you can really abuse this with Tri Brigade Revolt. 
Uh, Fall Troll, if you've got two or more X-Sabers on field, you can special summon. Andy's a Monster Reborn. Boggard Knight? Boggard Knight is one of four cards in the entire game that you need to negate the summon to negate its effect. So on summon, if it's a summon is successful, you are able to special summon an X-Saber monster from hand. And so you can't affect Valor it, you can't imperm it, you can't do anything. You need to just negate the summon to prevent that special summon from happening. Oh, and cool. double X-Saber Ragi Gura on summon, no matter what way he is summoned, you can just add an X-Saber from grave to hand. And so that helps facilitate the whole hand rip. Definitely. Okay. Cool. And I run a small Zodiac package just because uh, Divine Arsenal Zeus is broken. <laughs> yeah, so one wrap here, one Thoroughblade, one Barrage. Uh, Thoroughblade's the one that I run mainly because if your hand is weird, you can draw a card by discarding either one of these and uh, wrap here is just for the combo to be able to fill up your grave honestly I think that Borbo should have been banned instead of uh, Dryden. Dryden does help the consistency of the whole Zodiac engine and Tri-Brigade, but Borbo is what allows you to go so easily into Zeus. So I think I think that Borbo is the problem. Okay. <laughs> Borbo, okay. I'll tell you Konami now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then for consistency boosters, I run three Rescue Cat and three Tenki. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. We got Three. super rare rescue cats and ulti okay. tankies. Okay, okay. Yeah. I see. I got these for very cheap too last year, so I'm I'm really happy. Uh <laughs> I think I got all six of these cards for like hundred and fifty dollars in total about a year ago. Uh, so this was right before Tri Brigade got announced, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, Rescue Cat, you tribute him as cost off the field to special summon any two uh, level 3 or lower beasts. So you've got Dark Soul, you've got Airbellum, you've got Kit, and you've got Karis. Um, so it really, really works. And one card Rescue Cat, your entire engine's going, and if not, it at worst is a Naturia Beast or a Naturia Barkeon. That's crazy. Yeah. And then Tenki, you search Fractal, you can search Ragi Gura and Bogart Knight yeah. and any of the Zeus cards, so it's it's pretty versatile in this deck. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, and then for Disruption, I run 3 Ash, 1 DD Crow, since DD Crow is searchable, and 3 Cosmic Cyclone. I know I should be running more hand traps, um, but this is what fit. Ash is, it's just the most versatile hand trap. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it is the most versatile. DD Crow is searchable, and it disrupts a lot of decks in the format. And main deck Cosmic Cyclone, uh, putting three in my main deck is probably one of the best decisions that I have made as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. It is <laughs> such a good card. It's crazy. And uh, for the power one ofs, we got one Monster Reborn, one Called by the Grave, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one One for One, and an Imperial Order. Uh, these are the cards that if you see them in your opening hand, you're probably going to win. Uh, funnily enough, though, Monster Reborn is uh, one of the uh, cards that I side out most often. Um, so there's that. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, for the extra deck, run one Fairjeet, one Bear Brum, one Rugal, and two Shurigs for the uh, the Tri Brigade cards. Bear Brum made um, any. Tri Brigade variant deck so much better with just being able to uh, get Revolt. And honestly, it's thanks to this that you can abuse uh, Double X Saber Dark Soul, so that's really nice. And then Shurig, on summon, it's a non target banish, so that's really just amazing. And Fairjeet allows you to just gain that extra summon, which is used quite a bit. Okay. Uh, classic. We got Double X Saber Gotham's. Uh, he's a Beast Warrior, so he works really, really well with the Tri Brigade cards. He helps facilitate that OG 11-year-old uh, combo of ripping your opponent's hand. And the fact that he's 3,100 attack gets over so much of the current meta. Like, if your opponent doesn't use Dragoon, you can attack over it with X Saber Gotham. So that's, that's really nice. <laughs> For the Zodiacs, uh, just Chalk and Iron, Tiger Mortar, Borbo, and then the honorary Zodiac, um, Gundam SD, uh, <laughs> Divine Arsenal, Double Days Use. There's not really much you need to say about this. Yeah. And then for the targets 
for the Tri Brigades, Dragon Lords, and Hresvelgir. I uh, really, really like the name of that card. Um, they're broken. They're absolutely amazing. And then for the other cards, we've got one Nap Beast, one Almirage for the Bricky Hands, and one Opalooza to make your opponent go, oh, come on. Um, Nap Beast puts in work. Um, it's how I've been able to beat Sky Strikers. I didn't lose to any Sky Strikers uh, during the YCS uh, because of the Churia Beast, so I love this card. This card's my baby. It's my dual terminal rare. I love my dual terminal cards. Yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah, that feels like, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Not once per turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and also, it can trigger the Tri Brigade cards because uh, they just hit the graveyard, so that's really nice. That is nice. true, yes. And then, side deck, um, two alpha. Alpha's amazing, and also you can discard him uh, from Karis, so he's never really a brick. Okay. Uh, triple Ally of Justice. Cycle Reader. Not only is it a good side deck card against Drytron, it's an amazing side deck card against Cyber Dragon. So we've got that. <laughs> um, two Forbidden Chalice, because I know that so much of my deck was max rarity, but I do not have the funds to get Forbidden Droplets, so this is the poor man. This is the budget player's droplets. Um, I'll get droplets on the reprint. <laughs> there you go. Uh, triple Xyz Encore. This is for those decks that run Ixies. Um, if I face any Zodiac matchups, if I face Cyber Dragons, um, anything that relies on that. I actually did use this to uh, get my win against the Sacred Beast. He went into some like protective Ixies monster, and so I brought this out and just blew him out. Okay. Um, and then for the uh, that good old hate, we've got two anti-spell fragrance and a red reboot. And uh, Maturia Barkeon. Not a fan of Strikers. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do well against Geist, but this is in there for, you know, the trap deck mat trap deck okay. matchups. And it's a dual terminal. Barkeon. Yeah, and it's a dual terminal. Okay, so, you know. okay. And then last two, um, I just side into the, uh, the barrier statue. Block. I've seen this play before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Well, this guy is insane. <laughs> a lot of good ideas. I really like what he has in mind, and I'm gonna be trying to work with him to make aliens competitive. We're thinking of another janky deck to make good, and so yeah, aliens. <laughs> aliens. Uh, keep tuned. Okay. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he allows, I'll try to post that in his channel or mine. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to his channel. He's almost. Please. Three hundred. Let's uh, get to five hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. I want to get to five hundred. We're gonna do a giveaway of a sealed box of King's Court. Uh, so more information will be on my channel. Yep, so follow him guys. Okay, peace out.